Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today we are going to learn how you can create a custom domain business email address completely for free using Zoho Mail. So the first thing you have to do is check the link in the description, visit my website and then click on sign up now here. So this is the Zoho Mail website and here we have to sign up. So first let me explain you about the service. So if you want to create a custom domain email like this, hello at the rate your domain .com. you can create such five email address completely for free using the zoho free plan they also have paid plans on their website and it starts from just one dollar which i think is super affordable compared to other services available in the market um, if you want you can check them out also uh, but this free email service is completely sufficient and when you send emails with gmail or other free search providers you will see that this uh, you will your customers will see a warning message like this when they open your email so to avoid this we are going to use zoho mail and it allows us to add all these records which allows email service providers like gmail to verify that it came from authenticated source and they will not see this warning message if you are interested you can read more about the service on my website and the benefit of that is you will always have up to date information with videos if you are watching it six months later or three months later or there's some design change i cannot update that in video but in my blog post i can up update that so you will find always up to date information here and i will add more information about the service you will also find the resources that we are going to use for this tutorial here so check the link in the description and now let's sign up let's go here it's very simple all you have to do is fill your simple personal details like i agree to the terms and condition and then if you want to receive the marketing emails you can take that then click on sign up you can check your gmail inbox or the email address you entered for the otp then click on verify okay so that's how easy it is to sign up for zoho email now we will have to add our domain let's click on add now then click on add okay so you will see that your domain has been added successfully now let's uh, proceed to domain verification now we have to add this txt records this will allow zoho to verify that this domain belongs to us and we cannot just create randomly email address for any domain for that you have to go to my website just scroll down here in this option you will see how to verify zoho email dns verification click on this lookmydns.com it is a free service to check your dns records so for, let's go back to zoho here now you will see that zoho mail has identified that we are using cloudflare for this domain so it is showing us the instruction for cloudflare the instruction for adding txt records will be slightly different for every domain registrar for example if you are using namecheap or godaddy or google domains or any other domain registrar the process will be slightly different because every company has their own interface and you can read the detailed instruction for your domain registrar or you can simply go to google i have also created tutorials how to update dns records for namecheap godaddy i will link to them in the description or you can simply go to google and search for how to add txt record or dns record for your domain registrar so i will show you how to do it with cloudflare we have to copy this go to cloudflare go to dns here and extra tip if you are using cloudflare you can click on this advanced option here and export your existing dns so it will be a backup of your current dns record before making changes you can do that i have done that like you can see here so then click on add record here select txt in name you can either put add at the rate 
So at the rate will automatically translate into your domain name or you can also uh, put your domain name here. It means exactly the same thing. So depending on your domain registrar, you can use either at the rate or use your domain.com. Do not use www or any other things like that. You will see that it is like this at the rate or leave it blank. And then we have to put the txt content here. Sorry. We'll copy it here again and put it here. Okay. And there is no other TTL instruction. So I will leave this at auto and then click on save. Okay. So we have completed this step. Now let's verify that if this TXT verification record has been updated and Zoho Mail can detect it. So for this, we are going to use LookMy DNS. And for that here, put your domain name here, smarterprints.com. And then from here, select TXT. Click on find. And you can see if this service will use uh, a lot of DNS servers across the globe, globe and check uh, all the TXT. So you can see this is the TXT record we just added of the Zoho. So it means that it has been updated and if you cannot see the record updated then try again after five minutes or so then once you see this record exist you have to go to zoho mail here then click on verify txt record okay so uh, we have verified our domain ownership and now we are the super administrator of this organization your login email address so for this purpose i'm going to use first admin then click on create you can create any user email account like hello at the rate uh, contact or support or anything but since we have three five email accounts so i'm just starting with admin here you can see the email account has been added here. Now let's uh, proceed to setup groups. I will skip this step as uh, groups are for common email address and I'm the only one who is going to use it. So I will skip this. Proceed to DNS mapping. So just like we added the TXT record earlier, we have to add these records also. So let me show you how to do it. Uh, simply copy it from here. This is a MX record type and the host is at the rate. So I will go here, click on add record. From here, go to type MX, add the rate here, then paste the value. And from here, you will see the priority is 10. Click on save. Again, I will add an, another MX record. Go here, copy this. Priority is 20, as you can see here. Then this is the third. Click on save. Then again, do the same process. Priority is 50. You have to exactly enter the value provided here. Okay. Now we have to add this TXT record for SPF verification. Click on this view SPF value. So since I already have a SPF record for my domain, it is showing me two options. So I will select the second option and I will just update my old record. But if you see only this option, you will have to again click on add record and then uh, select TXT. From here, as you can see, this is the TXT type. Then uh, I will show you how to do it. TXT, add the rate and then paste the value here. Okay. So since I already have a TXT record, I will just edit that. You can see this is the record. Click on save and okay, that's done. Let's click on okay. Now for DKIM verification, um, we have to do this. So 
for this let's copy the host record first so this is a txt type click on add record here type txt and paste the host value here in name record this time we are not going to put add the rate and then copy the value and paste that here okay so that's how simple it is then click on save okay. now if you were already using some other email service you will see that you already have some mx records and it will not work properly if you use two services because the priorities will conflict with each other so you will have to remove your old mx records so i would recommend you to take a screenshot or backup as i showed you earlier to export the records um, and then delete them if you are a new user who, are, who is creating his first e custom domain email account then you don't have to worry about it and you can skip the deleting process okay so it's complete now i will give you an extra tip you will see that i have also added a dm arc record this is to prevent spammers from using our domain to send emails on our behalf your emails will mark, get marked as spam but you can set here if they will be completely rejected without verification so i will add that information in my blog post you can read that from there if you are interested now let's go back here and so we can first manually verify with look my dns service for example i will show you how this is the mx record so here i will select mx our domain name is already here then click on find you will see that these are the records we just added and it is getting detected now similarly this is the txt let's Again, look at the TXT record. So this is the TXT record, the second one we just added. Um, okay, so this is the TXT record we just added, and it is here. And this is the third DKIM. So for this, we have to copy this host name here, and in front of our domain, we have to add this host name dot our domain dot com then select txt then click on find you can see um, this is the record we added and it is getting detected so we can go back to zoho website then click on verify all records okay so you can see that zoho mail is uh, not able to detect it Do not worry just click on okay and you can see that it is showing me to delete the existing records um, if you are doing it for the first time then you won't uh, see the step do not worry about it again click on verify all records okay so i just click the verify button two three times and uh, the verification is complete now this is showing to migrate our email if you're already using some other service you can migrate your old emails to Zoho Mail. Let's click on proceed to email migration. So data migration, um, it, you can import all your previous emails. So you can find the detailed explanation here. If you go to learn more, you will see their detailed guide here. For, from all different service provider, the process will be different and you can read complete guide from here i may create a video later but because for every service this process will be different so uh, it will be best to read the guide here let's go back here because i don't have uh, anything to migrate so i will just click on this proceed to mobile configuration so if you want to download their apps this here you can follow this link and download it from google play store and use it to manage email and use it to manage email from your mobile let's go back here and then click on proceed to setup completion okay 
So our Zoho email inbox is ready. We can go to check our inbox or go to admin console. Let's first go to the admin console. Okay, so you can take a tour. So from here you will find how to use Zoho. So this is the dashboard from this the search bar and um, for support the profile. Um, you can also select theme, that's great. Uh, from here you can find the mobile apps and your customized dashboard, everything. Okay, so it's very easy and clean, ad-free to use and it's for free. So it's really great service. So let's go to the email inbox. Let's go to the Zoho Mail Home here. And from here, you can access your email inbox, okay? Let's, you can change your time and everything, um, the basic setup. Let's click on access Zoho Mail. And here we have one email from Zoho. So you can find the mobile application and some tutorials to get you started and uh, things like that. So let's send a test email and see if it's working. For test email, I'm going to use this mail test service and also use Gmail later. First, click on new email, then paste your address here. Then click on send. Okay, so it has been sent. Let's go to this website, then click on, then check your score. You may not, uh, not use the service, this is not mandatory. I'm just showing you that this is how it works. Okay, so you can see um, we got a 9 by 10 score, which is great. I will also show you my Gmail inbox. Let's see if it went to the inbox or not so here you can see the test email we sent it went to the inbox and not to the spam folder you can see that this has been sent from our custom domain email address and uh, the messages that and it has been marked as important according to google magic so this means that we have passed all the required test let's show you let me show you the headers so um, here you can see all the headers that are required ARC authentication results, ARC equal to pass, SPF equal to pass, and DMARC also passed. So now you can use this custom domain email address to send emails to your customers, clients. Um, don't use it to spam or send promotional marketing emails. Um, I have mentioned this on my website, it is not meant for that. You can use it as for SMTP using your WordPress. To send uh, emails from your WordPress or if you're using VPS um, you can use this for that so you can find link to other related tutorials in the description and that's it guys for this video I hope you found this useful and this helped you to create your custom domain email account for free and let me know your feedback in the comments and uh, give this video a like that's it guys for this video I will see you in the next video